I said I would do some swirls in a line to go across your full quilt. So I've put two inch space lines in. Right, we can do it two ways. We can go, I'm hoping you can see this, we can go in, this has got the straight line, so we can come along the straight line with our stitch and we can go down below the line, above the line, come around in a swirl, reverse it and come back to this line and keep going to the next one. Or we can just come along, hit the line and go round in a swirl, come back and come back and hit the line. It doesn't matter which way you do it as long as you get to the end. So let's have a go and see how we get how we go with this. Where we go. So we're coming along and down around reverse until we hit the line again and along the line it works quite well come down around keep going round in your swirl reverse your swirl and hit the line and we keep going along in this way, down, around in a swirl, back on the swirl, and hit the line. So come along on the line, swirl it round, reverse your swirl, and hit the line. Okay, and then when we come to this second line, I'll just turn it this way so that we don't waste so much. We we'll come along here. We're going to go in between this time, so we're going to actually come here. So we'll come along in our line, swirl it, and hit the line. We continue along this line and in between we're going to do our swirl. Reversing it to the line. Along the line, in between the last one, do our swirl, back out. The line. So it works very nice to be honest. So we can turn this around now and I'll bring it over to this line. So we're now going to go in between these ones. It's not critical about the size nor the shape, just because once you get it into your foot, it will come out perfect. Didn't do that one quite the same way, so down, around, reverse. And out. And the last one down here. I'll come backwards this time. So we just want one on the end here. Along and one here. So I'll go ahead and finish these other two rows off here and then I'll show you a picture of it in the, at the end.
of it. It looks very nice. I'll go away and take all the markings away and I'll take a picture of it. And as an overall filler for across your quilts, it's a very simple and very effective way of doing it.